Hey everyone, in this video we're doing another deep dive. Um, this time what we're going to do is we're building a list of series A, B, and C companies that do not have a data team. Possibly they uh, recently started a data team or they laid off their data team. Well, lay off their data team we might do in a different workflow, but um, we're looking for they have no data team, they're hiring for a data team, they recently had a data team join or like a head of data person join. And those are the things that we're going to be checking for. And so we're going to be able to do uh, a lot of this in Clay. You can get the series A, B, and C uh, list inside of Clay. In this case, I actually got this from Harmonic. So we're going to take that and we're going to be good to go. So we have their LinkedIn company URL, which is going to be the most important part here. And we're probably going to use the same Clay integration to find all of these. And so what we're going to first do is we're going to do find contacts at company. We're going to map our company identifier as their LinkedIn profile. And so here we're going to look for job title keywords. And so basically we're going to be looking for data. Um, it doesn't really matter. The data is what we, you know, we need that keyword to be in there. The most important part here though, is we need to exclude keywords because there might be too many keywords that uh, we don't want. And so it'll be like marketing, we don't want sales, we don't want, I don't know why anyone would have that, but we don't want that. We don't want finance, we don't want accounting. A lot of these I don't think are actually gonna show, but we're we're just gonna keep it in there. Um, data, data, data. Why else would somebody put data in their name? You know, that might actually be it. I'm trying to think of any other reason somebody would put data in their name and it wouldn't be useful. Let's keep that and see if anything comes up. And so we're going to do that. And so this is all of the filters that we're going to use. And so what we're looking for is, does this company have a data team or not? And that's what we're doing here. So we're going to run this, we're going to let it run. While that's running, we're going to see if they had somebody who recently joined the team. And so now we're going to come in here and we're going to say maximum number of months since start date of current role, we're going to put six. So that would take care of, uh, they recently had a data person join their team. And then let's see, we're going to see if they're hiring for data people as well. And so we're going to use two, I wonder, we're going to use predict leads in this situation. And so we'll put in the company website. And, oh, wait, no. So we're going to use predict leads. Uh, actually, we're going to start with LinkedIn, to be completely honest. So we're going to do find active job openings via LinkedIn. We'll do the LinkedIn category. And then we're going to look for data. We'll still exclude, you know, like marketing, sales. Um, I don't know why. You know, I just think that maybe these will pop up, but I don't think it'll be that crazy. Then we're going to find these. And now we're just going to waterfall it where now we're going to waterfall it where if it doesn't find it, then we're going to check predict leads instead. So no job found. So here, here's how we're going to waterfall this. Staff, backend, software engineer, data. Perfect. That's what we're looking for. So now we'll waterfall this into predict leads. Oops, it's staring right at it. Can I look at their website? And then we're gonna filter for the job title just being data. And now the run settings, we are only want this to run if we don't find a job title. So I know that the column name is title. If you put an exclamation point, it's not going to run. It's only going to run if it's empty. So we'll hit that and we'll hit save and run first 10 rows and see how run condition isn't met over here. No jobs found, totally fine. Um, and so now we know if they're hiring for a data person. And so I'm going to run this on a couple other companies because I, here we go. Oh, shoot. I hope there's not a crossover here. All right, let's run it on a couple other companies. Um, really what I'm searching for is like the predict leads job to be open. So we're going to call this predict leads job opening. Well, and we're going to 
map it as soon as we get it, because then what I want to be able to do is, yeah, here we go. I want to merge data scientists. Cool. I want to merge predict leads. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. Whatever. We'll delete this one. I want to merge them together so that we have one column of job titles. So we're going to go first title and then we'll do title one. Great. Uh, hiring for a data person, uh, merge job title. And then we'll hit save settings. Cool. So now we're going to let this one run. We're going to let this one run and we're going to let this one run. Great. And so basically what we're doing here, like I said, we are searching for companies that don't have a data team. So when we see no profile found, this means they don't have a data team. We want to find, uh, did they recently hire a data person? And so that's where it is here. And then we want to see if they're hiring for data people over here. Cool. Now laid off the data team. We're going to look at this. Hmm, I think we're actually going to have to do that in a different workflow. So anyway, now, like I said, the results is going to let us know, okay, this company does not have a data team. They would be prime for us to reach out to. You know, this company just recently hired some data people. I wonder what they even look like. Head of data. Love it. Senior data community advocate. Okay, perfect. And so then they would be perfect. And then so somebody say like this person, this company, they have zero data people, but they're hiring for data people. Awesome reason to reach out to those people as well. And so with that, this would be how you could take a list of series A, B, C and uh, companies. And then you could look to see if they have a data team by using clay and checking all of the permutations of the contacts. So with that, I hope you have a great day.